Hello and welcome to my Pika OS review. Pika OS is a new distribution based on Ubuntu with a focus on software compatibility and ease of use. The team behind Pika OS took all what was bad about Ubuntu and made it better and looking amazing while doing that. And as, as they say in their website, this is your new Linux distribution. So today I'm going to take a look at this new distro and see if it's worth the while. I'm excited to tell you all about it and take a closer look. Okay, for the installation, after booting from the USB, we choose our language, our region, our keyboard layout. Partition our drive, create a username with a, a strong and powerful password. And that's it. Let it install. Okay, first, guys, I have a goal to reach 1000 subscribers. And as you see, 94% of you guys are not subscribed. So if you sub, that would help me a lot to reach my goal and do more content and reviews. Thank you so much. After the installation is complete, we are greeted with this beautiful customized KDE desktop with a floating panel in the bottom. By the way, this is the KDE version. There is also a GNOME version. This version comes with KDE 5.27.7 and it looks, it looks beautiful, customized by them. And now let's see what apps it comes with. We have Kate, the KDE text editor, Genie view, photo viewer, and the document viewer, and for the internet things, we have Firefox browser, we have KDE Connect that lets you connect with your phone, and we have MPV as a video player, and utilities and settings. The optimizations tool that Pika OS team made, it's called the Pika OS Hub. It's one of the upsides of this distro. The Pika OS Hub is an app that lets you install graphic drivers, install some apps like Blender, and some optimizations. It is uh, helpful and it's one of the reasons why I like this distribution. So to sum up, Pika OS has the stability of Ubuntu, optimizations of Nubara, and the software compatibility, the performance, and good looks. Plus, it doesn't have many bloat, not much programs installed by default. I think it's a perfect distro for gaming or creating content or just browsing the web and doing everyday tasks. Okay, so would I recommend this distro? Of course, you should try it if you are interested. So thank you for hanging out today for, our, for my review of Pika OS. If you found this video helpful don't forget to hit the like button and of course subscribe for more exciting tech content if you've tried pika os or are considering it let me know in the comments below until next time catch you in the next video